122 people. That's how many have lost their lives to violence here in Kansas City in just the first eight months of the year. Six of them this weekend alone. From homes on the east side to the west, even a deadly shooting just outside the Kansas City Zoo. This weekend's violence is a devastating continuation of the trend we've been seeing all year. Despite the stay-at-home orders, despite federal intervention, some fear this year's homicide rate could surpass and possibly even shatter the old record of 153 homicides that was set nearly 30 years ago. KCTV 5's Leslie Aguilar joins us live from 81st and Ward Parkway Plaza, where police are investigating what was the fifth deadly incident in just 24 hours. Leslie. Uh, right now, Kansas City police have their hands full with five new dick crime scenes and six more deceased victims. Four of those scenes happened within a 24 hour time frame. Around six o'clock Saturday, police officers were flagged down near East 47th Street and Sterling Avenue. Neighbors led them to a backyard where they found two men shot dead. This was homicide numbers 117 and 118 for Kansas City, Missouri. About 12 hours later, police responded to a 911 call from 27th Street and Benton Boulevard Sunday morning. A man in his 20s found dead of a gunshot wound. This was homicide 119. Then Sunday, just before 5 in the afternoon, outside the Kansas City Zoo, zoo employees called off-duty police officers to the parking lot after seeing a man collapse on the ground. The man had been shot inside a vehicle with three other adults inside. Presumably these, these folks down here that were involved in this deal were enjoying the zoo. And, um, you know, whether, it's, whether it was on purpose or whether it was an accident, um, it, it just it doesn't have to happen like this. It just really doesn't. And it's, it's really unfortunate. It happened just as the zoo was closing without notice from many nearby witnesses since the gunshot went off inside the car. This shooting outside the zoo here was the city's 120th homicide, and as police were processing this scene, they had to respond to yet another fatal shooting just a 10 minute drive away. Homicide 121 is a woman in her 50s. She was found dead inside her home on Ward Parkway Plaza on 81st Street after a family member called to report she was having a medical issue. However, police suspect foul play and that family member, a woman in her 20s, was taken into custody. At this scene and every other this weekend, federal agents with Operation Legend were on hand to assist in the investigation. Police say it's just like having extra detectives. They say that should be good news to crime victims' families. Because that's more resources that are being brought to the table to help bring uh, swift closure and um, justice, you know, uh, in the event that um, uh, they identify a suspect and then uh, work towards getting them in custody. It's just more resources that they're bringing. Now the city's 122nd homicide happened just before just before 730 tonight near 20th Street and West Penway. For that case, for this one, for all of this weekend's homicide cases, there is an, a reward for tips leading to an arrest of up to $25,000. Reporting live in Kansas City, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News. All right, Leslie, thanks very much. And as Leslie just mentioned, there was a sixth shooting just in the last few hours that has turned fatal. Right now, all we know is the shooting happened outside a closed community center near West 20th and Penway. That victim is believed to be a man in his 20s. Earlier today, Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas was in the KCTV5 studio to speak with CBS for Face the Nation. We also spoke with him after the interview and asked him if he thought the current federal intervention in Kansas City is helping. I know there are many who've had questions about Operation Legend because it's supposed to help us solve some of these homicides and to keep seeing murders in Kansas City is an area of disappointment. My view all along has been this has to be a multifaceted approach. We're looking not just at enforcement, but also prevention and intervention. Kansas City are a significant contributor to spread. And real and the mayor says that means community involvement. The way we get ourselves out of this problem isn't necessarily more policing, isn't necessarily more people in jail. A big part of it's going to be how are we in those intervention points? When you have people who are in a mental health crisis, when you have people who are picking up a firearm to resolve something, we need that conflict resolution. We need alternatives for them. 
He says one of those alternatives is getting people with mental health issues off the streets and into the treatment that they need.